I really need no f***ing sense. God, I can't speak today. Talking to a camera is so f***ing hard. So much credit for YouTubers. <sighs> Pull yourself together, Alana. Take two. Hi guys, welcome to my first YouTube video. I have been wanting to set up this channel for such a long time now and I'm so excited that I'm finally getting around to doing it. For anyone who doesn't know who I am, my name is Alana and I have been a commercial model now for over 12 years. And I've set up this channel so that I can hopefully educate and inspire and give advice and hints and tips to aspiring models wanting to get into the industry, but also for models already in the industry. So every week I'll be uploading a new video. So if that sounds like something that you would be interested in, make sure you hit subscribe. So today's video, I'm going to talk about my journey of getting signed to a model agency. And I feel like a lot of people watching this are probably gonna expect me to tell some like amazing story where I just walked into an agency and they immediately snapped me up and I started shooting all these amazing campaigns and the rest is history because I feel like that's the story that so many models tell. Anytime I've watched any YouTube videos, I feel like it's all like, yeah, I just got like scouted on the street and the next minute I was signed to this top model agency and I was flying all over the world and that is like so far from the truth of what happened to me and I feel like that is not the reality for a lot of models and I hope that I can basically tell the story from the flip side. I feel like even if you're not interested in modeling, I hope that you can take something away from this story. Um, it's one that I've actually, I've actually never told anyone. Um, not for any reason, it's not that I've wanted to hide the story, I just feel like it's something that I've actually never spoke about and whenever I was brainstorming ideas with Josh on my first YouTube video, he was actually like, how did you get into modeling? I don't think you've ever told me. And I told him the story and he was like, that is the story that you need to tell because that story will hopefully inspire loads of people watching this video who have wanted to get into the model industry and are struggling or even just people in life wanting to do something and not knowing how to do it and not getting there. So that is the story you need to tell. So that is the story that I'm gonna tell today. So let's get started. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna start this story at the very beginning and basically I was in school one day, I was 14 years old and a teacher came up to me, her name is Mrs. Lee, so for anyone watching this video who went to my school, you'll know who she is, she taught history. She just said to me, Alana, when you're older, you should be a model. It was really random, it was really out of the blue and as a teenager, obviously, you just can't take compliments. So like, I just like find it majorly embarrassing, but it stuck with me and after she said it, I couldn't stop thinking about it and I thought, do you know what? Like, that is something that I would absolutely love to do. But guys, I come from this tiny little town in Northern Ireland where literally nothing modeling related ever happens. There was literally no opportunity for me to pursue modeling in my town. So I just knew that I needed to get to England to do that. And in order to get to England, I needed to wait until I was 18, until I was old enough to be able to leave that town myself and actually go and pursue it. So for the next few years after school, and this part of the story is important, you'll figure out why later on, I started working in New Look as a sales assistant after school and on my weekends to save up money to go to university. Every now and then I would help put up the banners in the stores, on the windows, all around the shop. And I used to look at the models in those campaigns and I used to just sit and think to myself, God, I just really hope that one day that's me. I hope that one day I walk into the store and it's me all over the banners. It's so, and then something really exciting came to my small little town in Northern Ireland where nothing modeling related ever happens. Former Miss Northern Ireland called Judith Wilson set up Judith Wilson School of Modeling. One day whenever my mom was reading the local newspaper, she seen it and she immediately signed me up. And a few weeks later, I went to the first class. It was like a little modeling class where you just learned how to model. It was my first ever time in front of the camera, my first ever time experiencing anything modeling related. So funny because at the time, I was so proud of these pictures that I got. And I mean, now I look at them and I'm like, oh, they're so cringy so cringy and that's absolutely no offense to the photographer Erica because she's absolutely amazing but you know they're just outdated. 
things to you. The thing is, I knew that that wasn't gonna lead to anything. It was just a little day thing, a little bit of fun. My first taste of modeling and and even though it didn't lead to anything, like if I had not have done it, I may not have had that experience and I may not have wanted to pursue it as much as what I did. But after that, I just knew like tunnel vision. Okay, I need to go to England and I need to become a model. So guys, it was like a few months later, I'm on the plane over to England. I'm going to university in Leeds and I studied marketing and advertising for anyone interested in that bit of the story. And guys, it was my very first week of university and everyone else's first week of university, they're so excited to meet everyone. They're so excited to go out and party and enjoy freshers week and go to carnage and do all these fun things. And the only thing that I was interested in doing was getting signed to a model agency. So my first few weeks of university, whenever everyone else was going out and having fun, I was in my flat applying to model agencies. And after a few days, I actually got the train down to London. So I spent the entire day in London going to see all these different model agencies and everyone said no. Either not tall enough, I was either too quirky and not commercial enough or too commercial and not quirky enough. There was like a million and one different reasons as to why they were like, no, I'm sorry, we're not interested in representing you. And so guys, obviously I ended up coming back from London feeling very disheartened. I thought, oh, that's it. No one wants me, this is not gonna happen. But I had applied to loads of agencies up north and usually whenever you apply online, it says that it takes up to 10 days to hear back. So I thought, right, okay, it's fine. I've got all these agencies up north. Hopefully one of them will want me. Anyway, the 10 days was up and in that time, I'd either not heard anything back or I'd either gotten like a generic, I'm sorry, your application's unsuccessful. And I was just like, okay, this is literally, this is just over, like, I'm not meant to be a model. I'm obviously not tall enough. I'm obviously not pretty enough. I obviously don't have the right look. Like, that's it. I'm just gonna concentrate in university and just give up, basically. And then, a few days later, I get a phone call from my sister. It literally changes everything. Hello? Hey, my sis. Where are you today? Flat here in Leeds. Um, doing your new work, what are you at? Okay, well, I am just in Manchester at the traffic centre and I just went into New Look and they're currently scouting for the new faces of the New Look campaign. What? In the shop and they're taking pictures of people and I think that you need to come down here and get your picture taken. In the traffic centre today? Yeah, today. After I received that phone call, I must have packed my bag in under five minutes. I literally bolted it down to the train station. I got on the train to Manchester. Luckily, they ran like every 15, 20 minutes. It was like an hour's journey over to Manchester. I did my makeup. I got changed in the toilets on the train and I got the train. I got on a bus, went to the Trafford Centre and I literally like beelined for New Look. And whenever I got into New York, I ran up to the shop assistant and I was like, excuse me, I hear that they're scouting for the next New York campaign in here today. And she's like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Literally looked at me like I was a crazy person. So anyway, I leave New York, I start walking around the traffic center to see can I see anything that's going on and literally there's absolutely nothing. And about an hour later, I'm like, okay, I just need to give up. I'm going back home and I'm literally just about to walk out of the doors of the traffic center and this woman runs up to me and she's like, excuse me, I've literally been following you for the last few minutes. We're scouting for the new Nila campaign. I would love to take your picture. I think that you look great. And I was all like, oh my God, really? Like, I, I didn't know anything about this. Like you're scouting the new look. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, of course you can take my picture. <laughs> Playing it like so cool. Like pretending I had absolutely no idea. <laughs> when in fact my sole purpose for being there was to actually get scouted. I go back up to Leeds, I am literally so excited. I'm like, okay, this is it. This is gonna be my big break. This is when I'm gonna start my modeling career. I said to her before I left, you know, how long will it take before I hear anything, if I'm successful? And she was like, if you're successful, we will be in touch next week. But a week passed and I heard nothing. And I was like, great. It just, 
it felt like just like another kick in the teeth like okay this is obviously not meant to be this is not gonna happen I'm not getting signed to any agencies I'm not booking this campaign like that's it a few weeks later one day I get a phone call and it's the woman on the other side of the phone calling me telling me that she wants to book me for the next New York campaign <laughs> guys like I literally like screamed down the phone that poor woman's ears I was just so excited so a few months later the campaign was released and I was on billboards I was in magazines I was on the website I was in store I was on the TV it was honestly amazing I couldn't believe that this was actually happening to me this little small town girl from Northern Ireland shooting this major high street campaign and so that summer I went back home and I walked into that store that I used to work at whenever I was 16 17 and there I was on the windows all over the store and it was just one of those moments when like I just felt so proud of myself. I couldn't believe that I'd spent all those hours working in the store wishing that one day I could walk in here and I would be all over the store and then I was actually stood there and there I was. My face was all over the store and it was, oh, I'll never ever ever forget it. As amazing as the whole new look experience was, I still wasn't signed to a model agency. I'd been in England for almost a year and I still wasn't represented by anyone. So even though I just shot this amazing campaign, I still wanted to shoot like loads more campaigns and I couldn't do that without an agent. So I thought, surely I've just shot a campaign for one of the biggest high street fashion brands in the UK. These agencies, once they hear this, are bound to want me. So I reapplied to all the agencies that I'd applied to previously. And again, I either got, I'm sorry, you're unsuccessful, that generic email that I think just gets whizzed to people, or I just didn't hear anything back. And I just was so frustrated. Like I didn't understand why I couldn't get signed. I was good enough for this campaign, but I wasn't good enough for any of these agencies. And so I kind of just, again, went on like a bit of a diner. So I'm just sitting in uni one day and as much as I was enjoying my studies, I just couldn't stop reliving in my head that experience of shooting that campaign in London, shooting that TV commercial, shooting their e-commerce and thinking like, I want to do this. That is what I want to do every single day. I don't want to be sat in uni every day. I don't want to finish university and go into this job and I have to do this every day for the rest of my life. I want to be a model. That is what I want to do. And I knew in order to do that, I needed to get represented by an agency. And there was this one agency in Leeds and throughout my year of being there, I had met like quite a few people who've been signed to them and even they had all said why don't you apply to this agency in Leeds they're really really good you'd be perfect for them I used to go onto the website and look at all the models in the books and think I could do that I could be on the books like I know that I'm good enough to be on those books so one day I just thought I'm not putting up with any more of these generic unsuccessful emails I am not putting up with not hearing anything back just thought I'm calling them and on the other side of that phone is a woman called Vicky and I said to her, Vicky, I have sent in about five applications to your agency. I either haven't heard anything back or you've either sent me an email saying I'm unsuccessful. Like, please look at my application. Like, I think I'm definitely good enough to be on your books. I've just shot this amazing campaign for New Look. Can you look at my pictures right now whilst we're on the phone? And she got up my application and she said, Alana, I think that you're great. We definitely want to represent you. Come into the agency next week. And I went into the agency and I signed my contract and I was finally represented by a model agency. And that woman, Vicky, who signed me, I'm the first person to give me a chance all those years ago, 12 years later, is still my agent today. And so I guess that's where the story actually begins. Whenever I finally got signed, it's now 12 years later and I'm sat here making this YouTube video. 
and I hope that you guys enjoyed hearing my story. That is how I got signed to a model agency. So guys, thank you so much for watching my first video. If you enjoyed this one, I'm going to be releasing another one that I talk about what happened after I got signed to my agency and what I've been up to over the last 12 years of my career in the modeling industry. I'm going to make sure that I share all the bad things as well as all the good things because I want to just try and keep it real over on this channel and I feel like with social media these days everyone shares all the good things and all the amazing things and all the highs and don't share the lows but I just want to make sure that people can relate and realize that in life whenever you want something you have to work hard to get it. A lot of things haven't come easy to me and I just want to make sure that I share that. If you enjoyed this make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions at all please make sure you comment under my YouTube video and I will make sure that I reply and if you want to see more videos make sure you hit subscribe and thank you so much for watching. I will be releasing another new video next week. Thank you!